WWE Night of Champions is September the 18th, which TNA, seriously, one week after 9-11, show some dignity and some class for this country. And by the way, that day is coming up next Sunday, I think. So, if you're going to show some respect, honor, dignity, integrity, whatever the fuck, for this tragic day, and the men and women that died on this tragic day, might as well do it now. We'll probably be talking about this once the week, you know, goes along. But other than that, I'll leave that for another day. Now, there's three matches I want to talk about, and when I say three matches, there's two new ones, and one that has a major change. Let's start with the Divas Championship, Haley Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. Now, honestly, I'm surprised that Kelly Kelly has held onto the title for as long as she has so far. You got a lucky win, in my opinion. You're as relevant as Jenna Hayes. If you don't know who that bitch is, Google is your friend. But seriously, put two and two together. I championed it in Buffalo, New York, which is Beth Phoenix's hometown. There is no way that they will make her lose. Just put two and two together. It's not that hard. Beth Phoenix will win the title, which she w should have won at SummerSlam. But I guess everything happens for a reason. We'll see. Now, the WWE Tag Team ta Championships are on the line as Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne, a.k.a. Air Boom, will face The Miz and R-Truth, otherwise known as, I like to call them, The Awesome Conspiracy. Now, the Tag Team Division has been really stale as of late. In fact, when uh, McGillicuddy, uh, what was it, and I don't even remember their name, so not even relevant, but David Otunga and McGillicuddy, Held the titles. I call it the Jobber Tag Title because it's that irrelevant. It is a joke of what it used to be. Hell, <laughs> TNA barely has a tag division, and it's more relevant than this. Even though they're slowly building them back together, which is good for tag team wrestling. Now, honestly, I like this team of Miz and R Truth. I love this team. In fact, probably on their first time out, they will win the tag titles. I'm, I'm not confident. Air Boone's reign will be really short. I don't think it'll be a short reign, but with Night Champions coming, you'll have to expect at least one or two title changes, or three or four at the most. But then again, we've been wrong before. But we'll see. Now... Triple H versus CM Punk. This match has been out for a while now, but there are two major stipulations. One, it is now a no disqualification match, which means anything goes. And two, if CM Punk wins, Triple H must resign as the COO. Now, honestly, I don't know who's going to win. I really don't know. I really don't care. But with Vince McMahon out of the picture, you gotta suspect, even if Triple H loses, he will still have a role somewhat in the WWE. He, he won't resign on the spot anyway. But the only way to find out what happens is watching Night of Champions. One week away from 9-11, which means September 18th. TNA, go fuck yourself. That's all I have to say.